So I'm Sam Smiley. I'm a non-binary human, pronouns they, them, theirs, and I am marginally employed at Leslie University. As an um, independent scholar, I put together my living in a lot of different ways, and I'm very grateful to be here to have this um, exchange uh, today. So um, my research is on uh, invasive, start out invasive species, um, specifically Japanese knotweed. It's the first portion is historical nature, and then it ends up in a very situated situation in <laughs> Provincetown, Massachusetts with a qualitative research approach. So what I'm really uh, kind of interested in is also um, method as epistemology. Um, and so I'm dispersing my knowledge in three different ways. Um, and so you'll have several different <laughs> versions of what I'm doing today. So uh, I, uh, this is my traditional slideshow, which I'm not going all the way through. I showed this at um, Society for History of Technology. Doing a slideshow helps me be a little more linear, which isn't my forte. Um, and uh, here's three sources that are informing what I'm about to show in terms of the video. Um, Bruno Latour's, I just like this, again, as a method, as an interest, it wasn't that readable, but uh, as fiction. <laughs> but it was fun as sociology, and I really enjoyed analyzing it. Um, seminal influence in my work, um, Banu Subramanian, uh, her work with um, invasion, the uh, rhetoric of invasive species um, has totally influenced, and she's definitely been a mentor to me. And uh, this is just the basis of a lot of what I do for qualitative arts-based research. I do think um, her work and of her colleagues is, could be really beneficial in terms of actually pragmatically disseminating research um, beyond uh, writing. And uh, so there's, a, and in speaking about art, she speaks of all of the arts, not just visual, performance, storytelling, poetry, et cetera. So Patricia Levy's been very seminal in my work. Here's the part where I show a video that talks for me. Basically, uh, this research started with kudzu. I did a mini documentary of about 10 minutes called The Queen of Kudzu, um, and that led me to Japanese knotweed. And uh, then I um, started a, a doctorate through a program um, that connected me with Leiden University, and then I had to put it on hold because of a lot of family stuff. Uh, but as a, trained as a media artist, I continued to do the work in zines and video. And also, um, I did a Japanese knotweed festival in Provincetown, um, that uh, harvest festival, and uh, did an article about that. So there's been a lot of spin-offs on this research. Um, I'm going to super fast show you the slideshow version, which I showed at SHOT, and that's kind of reiterating. That was actually a shot from the um, uh, festival, that stuff. So you'll recognize this from the video, because I basically used the video as a uh, storyboard, but then I discarded certain things that, uh, for a number of reasons, wouldn't have fit into the narrative I was doing with the video and what I wanted to accomplish with that. Um, so, I mean, really, when you have, it, it's a question of paring down, right? Uh, uh, so this was uh, more the official, um, like conference version, um, and then this was sort of my, um, I went, I, the, the re research sent me all over the place, um, and uh, I ended up at Kew Gardens, and that's where I found this book, which is really interesting, because, um, you know, this told me more about, like, the biology of Japanese knotweed, which was one of the really, the missing pieces here in the story. And it was interesting because they said there's a temptation to, do, this was in 91, this was written, an almost xenophobic reaction to introduce plants such as Japanese knotweed and use terms such as extermination. Um, I mean, this is from scientists, right? So there's a lot we can learn from scientists. Um, and so uh, this is more or less also um, my video conclusion and uh, sort of where I'm going with it. And I'm not sure if I'll have another article or two spin off from this, um, but like my overarching interest from this and in kudzu was really plants that were introduced during the um, World's Fairs in the United, like United, I mean, the World's Fairs, uh, the one in Paris and there's one in Chicago. And um, that's where a lot of these oriental plants, these easy to grow from the Far East plants came. And so I'm, I'm very interested in this idea of, um, you know, you go to a plant nursery and you plant something because it's pretty, but the actual form of the plant, what it does is kind of not 
really um, kind of apparent. So, so I've just thrown a lot of stuff at you, um, but uh, I, I think you have the overarching narrative, and um, I the zines I passed out. So, in terms of that form, those that's short for magazine, um, and that's sort of the part of the DIY um, craft culture, um, which is now assimilating to research culture to a certain extent. So. Um, yeah, um, so I could say a lot of other things, but maybe I should take questions at this point, because uh, I don't even know what you want to know. <laughs> so any questions? Thank you. Okay. <laughs>